Hello and welcome to this Unreal Engine tutorial series video where I will be recreating my combat system from a showcase video that I uploaded. Uh, I'm gonna be using a third person project and also I'm gonna be using a Paladin anim sets. Link will be in the description. So let's get into it. Firstly, create a new folder for the animations and now create an animation blueprint, select your own skeleton. The first thing we want to do is uh, set the default slot and now we can add a new state machine. Open the state machine, create a state uh, for the idle and walk. Now we need to set up some basic for the animation blueprint. So check if pawn owner is valid, then get a movement component and get uh, is falling. This will be prompted to a variable called falling. Now let's get velocity and get vector length and this will be the speed. Now let's copy, try to get pawn owner with velocity and paste it here. We need to get control rotation and afterwards we need to calculate direction which will be the variable direction. Now let's create blend space 1D and select your own skeleton, open it up, put your animations right there for idle, walk and run. As you can see, it's blending it nicely and the axis settings will be speed and maximum axis value will be 400. Now let's go to the idle walk state and set this blend space we created there and speed will be the variable speed. Now go to the third person character and set your uh, animation blueprint. Now when we play, we can see he is moving exactly as the blend space. Now let's create a new folder. This will be for weapons. Open it up and we need to create the blueprint class of actor. This will be the master weapon and open it up. And in this master weapon, we need to set the static mesh for the weapon. Afterwards, we need to create an enumeration for weapon types. You can set whatever types of weapon you want. Now, after you've done this, let's close it and create a structure. This will be the weapon data structure. Let's add some variables. First one will be name of the type name. Second one will be mesh of the type static mesh. Third one will be type of the enumeration we created. Fourth will be the damage. This can be integer or float. And the last ones will be both names and they will be the left hand socket and a right hand socket name. After we've done this, we need to create a data table for this weapon data structure. Now let's add a new weapon with this plus button and set the row name to the name of the weapon. Set all your variables and now let's get your uh, sockets. So go to your skeleton mesh and uh, create the sockets. I have them already created, but if you want to create them, you just right click on some bone and you can add socket right here. You can also add a preview mesh so you will know how the weapon will behave. And also rotate it so it, he will hold it correctly. 
make it for both hands so you can equip it to left and right and afterwards copy the name of the sockets and set them in the weapon that you created in data table. Now let's go to the master weapon and create a new variable called weapon name. This will be of the type name and it will also need to be uh, editable and exposed on spawn. Now we need to create a function called set weapon data. And we need to get the weapon name and get data table row from the weapon data table we created. And the out row will be promoted to variable. This will be the weapon data. And now we can just return it. Now create another function. This will be set weapon mesh. And we need to get the weapon mesh and set static mesh. From weapon data, we need to break the structure and set the mesh right there. Now we can return. Now let's go to the event begin play and set weapon data, set weapon mesh. And now when we grab it to the world, and change the name to a row name from data table. You can see the sort is right here. Now we need to create a widget so we know when we can equip it. So let's go to user interface widget and open it. Let's add text and set it to desired. Now in the master weapon, we add widget component. and set the widget class to the pickup widget and i forgot in the pickup widget justification should be set in the middle now let's set the space to screen and set its visibility to hidden afterwards we need a collision Then scroll down and click on component begin overlap and also on component end overlap. From that we need to cast a third person character, get the pickup widget and set its visibility to visible when we are in and hidden when we are out of the collision. Now when we play and go near you can see the widget disappearing and disappearing exactly as we want. So let's create another folder. This will be combat system. Open it up and now we will create the actor component for the combat system. And right here we need to create a function. This function will be equip weapon. It will have one input called left hand, which will essentially check to which hand we will equip the weapon. Now let's create a new variable called pickup weapon. This will be master weapon type. And we need another two variables. One will be left hand weapon and another one will be right hand weapon. Now let's create another blueprint class. This time it will be of the type character. This will be the master combat character, which will be the main class that will have the combat system component. And now let's go to the third person character class settings and the parent class set to master combat character. So we now inherit the combat system. 
let's go back to the combat system and create uh, another function called get character. For this, we need to get owner and cast to master combat character and then return. Set the cast to the output. This will be also a pure function. So now let's go to the equip weapon, set the pickup weapon and attach actor to component. Now let's get character, get mesh, and it will be then that will be a parent. Pick up weapon, we need to get weapon data, break it, and set the socket name to the socket name. Set all rules to snap to target. And set it as a left hand weapon. Now we need to set the left hand weapon variable to the pickup weapon and we will return. Now let's copy all of this down here. This will be for the right hand weapon. So we just need to change some things. First one is the weapon structure. We need the right hand weapon socket name and also we'll set the right hand weapon variable. Now this is all for equipping the weapon. Now we need to check to which hand we want to equip it. So let's create another widget. This will be equip widget and open it up. We need two text right here. Um, I'm gonna anchor them to the middle. Set the alignment to 0.5 and 1.5 and size to content. The text will be just for the equip. The alignment to 0.5 and minus 0.5, size to text. Now let's go to the event graph, delete everything and just leave the event tick. Now get player controller who was input key just pressed. Uh, we need it two times and right here you can see which inputs I chosen. So first one will be T, another one will be Z. Now get the branches here. Now we need to get player character. And from it, we need to cast to third person character, convert it to pure cast. And now we need the combat system. From here, we want to get the equip weapon function. Now I'll copy it right here. And for the left hand set it's to true. For the right hand, we will leave it at false. Now we want to remove from parent. So the event tick will not constantly be in the memory. Now go to the event graph in combat system component, create a custom event. This will be input equip weapon, get the pickup weapon and check if it's valid. Now we want to create a widget. This widget will be equip widget and we want to add it to viewport. Let's go back to the master weapon. We need to add some things here. First, we need to get the combat system component from the third person character. And then we want to set the pickup weapon to the master weapon. 
let's do the same thing down here, but set it to nothing. Now in the third person character, we need to get our input for picking up weapon, uh, get the combat system and set input equip weapon right here. So now when we go near the weapon and press E, you can see the other widget we created. And when I press T, it will equip to left hand. The circuit is not correctly done. And when I press it uh, again and equip it to the right hand, you can see it's equipped. But we need to remove the collision for the weapon. So let's go to the combat system component and create another function called set weapon for equip. Let's get the pickup weapon right here and what we need to do is get pickup widget and set its visibility to hidden because we don't want to see it when we have the weapon equipped. Also we need to get the pickup collision and set collision enabled to no collision and then we want to return. Now in the equip widget, we need to prepare the weapon to equip. So set weapon for equip right here before we remove it from parent. Now when we equip it, you can see we cannot see the widget, but we also move weirdly. So we need to go to the master weapon and go to the weapon mesh and scroll down until you see the collision presets and set its uh, collision preset to no collision. Now when we play and equip the weapon, the weapon is equipped and everything is working as we wanted. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helps somehow. If you want to support me and make more of these tutorials, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.